tips uh, about what to give when there is a natural disaster of any kind and who to give to. And so these, these are just some very practical tips. This isn't anything spiritual behind this. You can read spiritual stuff into it if you want to, but that's not the purpose here. But here, here it goes. Here are things not to give. Opened anything. Uh, opened uh, diaper boxes, opened uh, anything. Just do not donate it uh, because the people who are going to be trying to distribute those cannot. They need to be in a sealed box or a sealed can. Number here's going on with canned goods. Make sure that all canned goods that you give uh, as best as you can have pop-up lids. Because if power goes out, 90% of the population now uses electric can openers. Here's going along that bunny trail. New can openers would be a great idea. The um, manual type, that is a great idea. Canned goods, once you pop the lid open, you can eat it just as it is. You don't have to heat it up kind of gross to open up a can of soup without heating it. But when you are in a desperate situation, you can open up that can and eat it. So just think of that. So um, things, other things to give. D diapers of all sizes, including adult incontinence stuff. Um, Make sure that they're in the original box or the original bag unopened. The next thing going along that line, personal hygiene items. Toothpaste that's still in the box. Toothbrushes that are still in the packaging. Um, women's personal hy hygiene stuff. Um, d d deodorant, baby wipes. Baby wipes can be used by the whole family uh, to until water gets turned on again, they can keep themselves clean. Uh, again, in the original box with the original plastic of, around the box. That's very important. Uh, things not to give. Used clothing. Unless the agency specifically ask for clothing, do not send used clothing. And if you use, send used clothing, make sure that if you're pulling it out of your storage and it's been sitting in green garbage bags or boxes, make sure it's clean. If you have to run it through your washing machine, then do so. But I worked for a nonprofit organization for many years, both in a refugee camp and when we we're helping to resettle refugees. And I still remember the horrible, musty smell of used clothing that people donated to us that we had to, in turn, pay to get it taken to the landfill because there's no way we were going to give anybody that clothing. Try to organize the sizes and gender of the clothing you are donating. And once again, do not donate used clothing unless that agency specifically asks for it. Because most agency relief warehouses have limited space and clothing takes up way too much space and requires way too much man hours for people to sort through the trash and pull out whatever gems might be in that. So what can you donate? Anything that's still in its original package, except medication, over-the-counter medication, donate money to the agency rather than donate those items because the agency will know for sure that the packaging has not been tampered with or anything like that and they cannot use 
anything that is not in its their original boxes with the original with the little seal still attached um, first aid stuff poly polysporin and stuff in the original box unopened uh, first aid stuff the band-aids um, gauze all that kind of stuff make sure it's in its original packaging if not the agency will have to dump it and they will have to pay to have it dumped some people kind of use it as a way to get rid of their trash and have somebody else haul it off and that's the unfortunate truth but what is the biggest thing that you can give your love your time and your listening ear in this day of social media I would say every one of us knows indirectly or directly somebody who's been hit by these things that have been going on right now. And right now, they really need you to listen to them, even a short text to them saying, hey, it's been a couple of weeks since whatever happened happened. How are you doing? Really, how are you doing? I really want to know. What do you need me to pray for you right now? And if you are there in person, be listening. Stop, look at them in the eyes as you hand them whatever they need so they know that they are being seen. Don't look at their hands, look at their faces. Uh, the biggest thing you can do right now, uh, as far as nonprofit organizations, go to any search engine and type in overhead nonprofit organizations. And don't give to the people who have the highest percentage of overhead. Give to local churches and local relief centers in the area that have been hardest hit because they can get stuff moving much faster. If you don't like to give to a church, look for the name of the town and find non profits in just about every small town, every big city. Look up service organizations because they will be some of the first responders to meet the needs of the people.